For those of you who are just after the command to hide the desktop icons on macOS, here it is. Right, hopefully you've got uh, you've got everything you need now. You don't have to listen to any of this. But if you are after a little bit more information and you want a demonstration of how this is done, then stay watching and I will do that and talk a little bit more about the subject. Firstly, why would you want to hide your desktop icons? Well, I can think of two reasons personally. I mean, it's obviously a, sort of depends on you. But uh, firstly, if I'm recording a video uh, capture like this on my screen, I really don't want all my icons down the right hand side. I mean, there's nothing terribly personal here at the moment, but there could be. And uh, I just got information about kind of projects I'm working on and even like companies I'm working with and stuff sort of down the right hand side here. So, you know, it, it, while that information isn't sort of terribly revealing in any way, shape or form, it's still something I'd prefer to just hide and have a nice clean desktop. If you're using a Mac at work and uh, you're doing a presentation, well, equally, you probably don't want icons shown on uh, on your presentation either. Now, most of the time, you'll probably just go into the start of a presentation if you're doing a presentation, if you know what you're doing. But there's a chance that some desktop icons could be shown at some point. So sometimes it's nice to just have them hidden. And with this command, you can hide them, but you can still access them through Finder. So don't think you're kind of losing your desktop icons or desktop files at all. So let's get started. We're going to use the terminal to do this don't be afraid of using the terminal it's a command it's command line stuff so it does seem a little bit more daunting than kind of just double clicking or doing a checkbox or something like that but it's perfectly fine to do so don't worry about it just don't blame me if you mess anything up no i'm only kidding uh right so we're going to open the terminal and if you haven't got it at the bottom like i have then you can find the terminal in uh, launchpad and uh, it's actually not there it's in launchpad and you'll find it on in the other folder that's usually where it sits if you haven't kind of moved it anywhere else so if i just open a terminal window here make it a little bit wider for this one and uh, zoom in so you can see nice and clearly what i'm doing so we don't need to change directory we don't need to change uh, yeah change anything we don't need to super user this or anything like that because it's just a command that can be run from the default directory that's to the terminal windows in when it when when it opens like this no problem at all so uh, we're going to use defaults right for this and the defaults right command on uh, mac os can be used to tweak all sorts of things i guess it's a little bit like tweaking the registry in windows you can change all sorts of settings to really kind of nice little things like um how long it takes to show the dock when it, when it's hidden at the bottom and stuff like that. So, but I'm just dealing with the one command today, and that is uh, the create desktop command, really. So we're going to do uh, defaults defaults right, and I always type right wrong. And com dot apple dot finder, and then we're going to do create desktop and we're going to put false because we want to turn them off in this case okay so reversing this to true will turn them back on and then we're going to put a, a, a semicolon delimiter here just to allow us to put an, an additional command on this one single command line so um you're going to also do a kill all finder because that will restart finder which is something you just need to do once you've issued this command so it all goes on the one line nice and neat and then if i just run that by hitting return there we go. Icons are gone. But if I go into Finder now at the bottom, if I move to the bottom and open up a Finder window, under Desktop, I've still got all my icons. They're still here. I can still access all my files. It's no problem. So if I want to bring them back, then I can, in this window at the moment, I can just press the up arrow because I've just typed the command. So the up arrow, up arrow will bring back the last command that I typed and just move along and edit this to true. Hit return, and there we go. And that brings them all back again. It's, it's as easy as that. And if you want to uh, close, you can just completely quit out of terminal now. So if I go to the top here and do quit terminal. if So if you're coming back to this on another day and you think, oh, I've got to type that command every time. Well, you don't really, because if I go into the terminal again now, terminal on Unix, which is essentially what Mac, o Mac OS is uh, behind the scenes, retains a big file that contains all your list of you know previously used commands so if i've just opened terminal here I've, i completely quit out of terminal but if i go back into it now and just press the up arrow it will bring back the last command that i used so the last one was bringing the icons back again press it press it again and i get straight to the command to make the icons disappear again so yes it is a, it is a command but if that's the only thing you're doing in terminal you really basically you know you've got what 
one click to get into terminal, two taps to get to the command that, that hid the icons, or maybe even one. Well, probably two, because you probably brought them back again at some point. So that's one click and two taps on the keyboard. Three taps, you've got to press return to issue the command and maybe close terminal as well. So like four things to do in total. You can do that in what? five seconds once you get used to it it's really not that big a deal i'm sure there's third party software out there that does this for you very nicely but there you go that's the kind of um official i suppose the more kind of behind the scenes way of doing it in mac os and uh, nice nice little one that i really like that really uh, neat and tidy so thanks for watching if you like the video put a thumbs up in the uh, for, for this video or subscribe to the channel and i will see you soon